In this tutorial, I will show you where you can download free character rigs. There's one site in particular that a lot of animators go to to download character rigs, and that is at highend3d.com. So go ahead and type that in your browser, and it'll take you to this website. If you go under free files and then scroll down to character rigs, this will show you uh, all the rigs that they offer. So go ahead and click on Maya, and this will show you only the Maya rigs. If you click on um, highest rating, you'll see the most popular ones from the dinosaur rig, the fish rig, bouncing ball rig, a toothpaste rig for whatever reason. Um, so yeah, that's all the different free rigs that they offer. So if you scroll back up and then you go to marketplace character rigs, these are all the paid rigs that you can download. I'm just going to switch it back to Maya here. Uh, some of these could be higher quality content as far as a rig can go, but you really don't need to be here. Just know that this exists. Um, so we're just going to go back to the free files and then character rigs and we'll just pick something here. I've actually never seen this fox rig before. It looks pretty appealing. The rig doesn't look too complicated and I can see from the top right that it's pretty high rated too. A lot of people must like it so I'm going to go ahead and download it. So if I click on that and bring it over here, this is the, oops, there's the zip file of the Fox rig, and you can see it comes with two different texture files, a Maya file, and a readme file. And a lot of these rigs will come with, you know, the same type of stuff, but here sometimes you'll have, like, information on how to install particular plugins or textures, so just know that that option's available. So let's go ahead and open up Maya and see what this looks like. All right, so in Maya, go to File, and then the Reference Editor, and we're going to create a reference. Make sure that you unzip the rig that you just downloaded onto your desktop so it's easy to find. And then click on that Maya file, and there is the Fox rig. But you notice that the textures aren't on there. So I'm going to hit 6, and I can still see that the textures aren't there, which means they're not linked. But we know that we have the texture. So what we're going to do... We're going to go to Window, Rendering, Editors, Hypershade. And then you can see this black thing right here. This is the, um, the skin texture. And if we click on this button right here, you can see that this path, this is probably the path from the creator's computer. So we just need to relink it. So if you hit the folder, move this over, you'll find this diffuse JPEG. And that's the actual texture. So we're going to select that, exit out of here, and boom. There's your fox texture. And another thing I like to do, just to be safe, I like to go to show and turn everything off and only turn on my NURB curves and the polygon. Because sometimes you'll see bones and stuff and you don't want to be touching those because that is just bad news. And uh, also you'll have like options in your display layers here for locking your mesh or locking any other attributes, so be aware of that. But yeah, go ahead and start clicking on random controls and start moving in and see how these uh, character rigs work out. I actually kind of like the deformations on this fox character. Maybe I'll make like a, a walk cycle or something in the future with the same character rig. But I hope you found this video tutorial useful. Um, there's many different ways to download free character rig if you just do a simple Google search. But I like using high end 3D because you can find various uh, creatures, monsters, robots, people rigs. And uh, it's really fun. So go ahead, pick a rig, download it, start animating. If you learned something new, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. I'll be trying to post some new content on a weekly basis. And if you have any questions, just go ahead and leave it in the comment box below. And I'll probably make uh, another video to cater your needs. All right, guys. Thanks. See you next time. Take care.